Greetings, I'm Jose Torres. You probably see me uh, serving on the altar at uh, Holy Comforter and also greeting in the, at the door and also as part of the Farmer's Market crew. It is an honor to address you today on this important campaign. I am a lifelong Episcopalian. As a child, I attended St. Anne's Episcopal Church in the Bronx, New York. At the age of eight, my family returned to Puerto Rico and I attended St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Maya West, Puerto Rico, San Andres in Spanish. At both churches, I serve as an acolyte and at St. Andrews, I was also the water boy for the basketball team. So as you can imagine, I grew up at that church. St. Andrews is an Episcopal church established in our hometown in 1910 and has been my mother's church since she was a little girl. And I'm glad to say that she's 88 years old and still going strong at St. Andrews. Um, as an adult, I joined the U.S. Army and moved a lot and traveled and went to the base chapel, but they didn't have an Episcopal service, so they, had, they provided uh, Protestant and Catholic services. I mainly went to the Catholic Mass. Of interest, I traveled uh, to Honduras and met the bishop there, uh, Bishop Lloyd Allen, and had a very important and interesting conversations with him at dip diplomatic functions and whatnot. After I retired, I moved a lot uh, in the United States in search of jobs, and I visited Episcopal churches in Miami, Maryland, New Orleans, Texas, and finally, I ended up in Colorado. I have to say that everywhere I went, I visited Episcopal churches, and I was greeted with great warmth and kindness because that's what we do. We open our arms and, and hearts to receive our neighbors. Holy Comforter is no exception. I feel that we exhibit a special sense of true love and caring for others It is that is very remarkable. This church is involved in so many activities, some of our own, such as the nursery and God's Play for our children, the Broomfields Farmers Market, which supports many local farmers, and is a place where the community gathers to find fresh food and listen to great music. I also have to mention the choir. What can I say? They do a great job. And our hospitality team is also outstanding at McGlarris Hall. It's a place where after service and between uh, services, it provides us an opportunity to meet, greet, and share time with fellow like-minded parishioners and visiting worshipers. Following the example of a generous God, we are also involved in many community efforts, such as Growing Home, who strives to strengthen families by helping them achieve stability and success. The Broomfield Housing Opportunity Coalition, who works to find equitable solutions for a diverse spectrum of housing needs. CASA, a program that provides specialized, selected and trained community volunteers who advocate for abused and neglected children in pursuit of a safe and permanent home. I am proud to say that I am a CASA volunteer, as are some of our church members. We also support FISH, a local organization which, with a thriving food pantry who offers transportation assistance and provide rent and utility assistance, amongst other services for those in need. A Precious Child, an organization that provides children in need with an opportunity and resources to empower them to achieve their full potential. These organizations greatly benefit from our involvement and dedication to their overall mission in support of our community. I am proud to say the Holy Comforter is an integral part of those efforts and the community in general. For me, I feel that this church provides me with the spiritual direction needed in my life in my effort to seek and serve Christ. I have always loved the readings, the sermons, and the way our clergy presents them as they apply it to our daily life and the current situation we live in. Again, I also love the hymns, which are such an integral part of our overall service. But many of these efforts, if not all, require our support, be it by giving of our time, our skills, or our, so our financial support. I ask for your generosity in sustaining your current contribution and, if possible, increase your support. This will help us continue supporting the many community efforts that our church is involved in help us maintain our beautiful campus and many church activities we have 
and help our church continue having a strong presence in our wonderful community of Bloomfield and adjacent counties. Thank you.